The Mojave National Preserve is over 1.5 million acres of desert beauty and wonder. It was established in 1994 and is the third largest unit in the National Park Service in the contiguous United States. The preserve is about 50 miles from Las Vegas and 200 from Los Angeles. On this trip, we were hoping to score a camping spot on the north area of the park near Sema Dome called Sunrise Rock. We had camped in that area before and knew it was a prime location with beautiful desert views. From the I-15, we turned on Nipton Road, then Ivanpah Road, and then Morningstar Mine Road, which took us down to Sema. From there, it was uphill all the way on Sema Road to our campsite. Driving into the park, you'll see your typical Mojave desert landscape of creosote bushes, yuccas, and small cacti. It slowly gets a bit more interesting as you pass 3,500 feet. This is where the Joshua trees start to spring up and bring their quirky green beauty to the desert. Rather suddenly, we started to see burned trees we hadn't seen the year before. As the miles went by, the fire damage got worse. Unbeknownst to us, a 43,000 acre fire in August 2020 had killed an estimated 1.3 million Joshua trees. That's about 25% of the entire Joshua tree forest in the preserve. The fire had left most of Sema Dome a boneyard of Joshua tree skeletons. This was really hard to see. We later learned it had been started by a lightning strike, but because of all the other California fires at the time, the fire response was limited and quickly overwhelmed the small crew that had responded. We continued on to the boondocking sites, hoping to find the forest intact. As we drove around the various sites, we saw a few trees had survived the fire. but there were still a lot of plants that didn't make it. And as we got closer to Sunrise Rock, we saw most of the trees were gone. We decided to have lunch and discuss our plans. We had intended to stay overnight, but because the fire had destroyed all of the ground plants, there was nothing left but exposed sand. The winds picked up and it soon became unpleasant and we started eating sand. There are still beautiful sections of the preserve left untouched by the fire and we hope to visit again soon.